why did I change my caravan to a camper van? I'm going to be telling you, so watch the rest of this video. I've done some disadvantages and advantages of having a caravan and a camper van. Now, I've got a list here, this is quite a bit. So, the advantages of having a caravan. The caravan has got a, more space. It's like a, a mini home that you take away, static, and you can use your, your car, your vehicle, to go off on day trips and everything like that. But with a camper van, it's smaller space, a, less storage, but there is a lot of advantages of having a camper van over the caravan. Now, the caravan ended up being quite expensive to run, that's a disadvantage, whereas the camper van works, has worked out far cheaper to have. And the reason why the caravan is um, more expensive is because I had to have it in storage. So you've got the storage cost, it took me half an hour to get to the storage, so that's extra petrol. It, also time, but I don't work, so that doesn't matter. You still have to pay, you still have to do your like habitation tech checks for your insurance, you've got insurance on it. So you still have all those extras on top. You're a bit restricted with a caravan or where you can go. You can't just go like in the Peak District uh, because the lanes are so narrow. So you are restricted of where you go. Now with the camper van advantages, for me, far cheaper than having a caravan because I don't have to put it in storage. I use it as my everyday drive and it's only out not far from my house. So I live down a cul-de-sac, so I don't have no drive, unfortunately. So I haven't got far to go. So I can load it up days before I go on, go away. And I can just do spur of the moment and just go off for the day. Or a weekend, or a week. Whereas the caravan, I have to load up the car, drive 30 minutes to get there, then because the car is chock a block, I have to put some of the stuff inside the caravan. Then you have to hook up the caravan. That takes another half an hour, put your mirrors on the side for law, and then you set off. Now with the caravan, I had to buy a sat nav, and with this sat nav, absolutely amazing, a Gura, I'll put the name at the bottom, can't pronounce it. You put the height measurement of the caravan, the width, and it's supposed to not take you down country narrow roads. I've had a few near misses, never got stuck, but I had to do some fantastic reversing with the caravan. But with the camper van, I'm using the same sat nav, but you've got more choice of where you can go. But you can get down more narrow lanes, you can go actually go into car parks, um, but you can with the caravan because you're using your car for the day. The advantages of me having a camper van is one, to save money. The second one is get up and go, go wherever I want. I'm slightly restricted with height restrictions compared to my car with the caravan. The only disadvantages that I'm finding so far with a caravan, uh, so far with a camper van is when I pull up at a campsite, which is the majority of the time I use because I'm a sole traveller, pull up at the caravan site, uh, camping site, then I set all up. And if I want to go out for a day trip, a day out in it, I have to like load back up again, pack up again. That bit um, I haven't mastered yet. But getting up and going, packing the van days before, Brilliant, absolutely amazing. It's the best thing I've ever done. Now, I went on the caravan side. I started off with two birth caravan and a Kia Sia uh, car. First time I ever did it. Enjoyed it, loved it. So then I upgraded to a four birth. You imagine the size of the caravan. But then I had to change my car to a Sportage Kia, which was absolutely amazing. Love that car, Def definitely get it again. And then, um, because I was doing solo traveling on my own, it was starting to get to my body a bit. It is hard work with a caravan. You have to hook it up. You have to lug the 40 liter water container. You've got the waste container to do at the same time. And also 
the Portaloo um, as well. But with a camper van, I tend to wash my pots in the pot, pot wash up area. One, saves me on water. Two, I don't have to get rid of the waste because it's already in the sink in the pot wash area. Then I don't have to carry so much water towards the van, so that saves my body. And if I'm on a site that's got showers, I will use the showers, not the shower inside the caravan that I used to do. And that's why you have to pull a lot of water. And it's more convenient, I'm finding. Um, if I'm on a site with no shower, the old fashioned hot strip wash, hot water, flannel, you know, gets in and everywhere you want to just behave in there and the cooking side now I like cooking outside and with the camp with the caravan I notice I cooked more inside um, I look at the weather and go mm, like that I'll cook inside mainly with the camper van I don't know what it is I love opening the sliding door getting the fresh air and then cooking outside um, of course I don't really cook outside in the winter because my body can't cope with the cold with most of you know what I'm, the issues I've got but anyway am I enjoying it? I am thoroughly enjoying it here's some of the disadvantages I actually wrote down so I'm going to be reading this so it might be a bit boring but right the camper van these are going to be advantages first, then disadvantages. Camper van, compact and cosy. Caravan, spacious, comfortable, and the bed's already made. Whereas I have to make the bed in the camper van. Disadvantages: visits the camper van is in a small is small. It gets messy easy. You need more organising. You have got to make sure you put everything away when I'm going out for the day. I have to put my bed away and swivel the front seats around which is time consuming and I'll tell you something those double seats swivel and the driver's side seat they don't, don't hard work I'm finding some days I do it dead easy do it just like that and some days it takes me half an hour and I have got no idea why I don't know why they didn't make this, the seats a lot more comfortable if I look like I'm frowning it's because the sun is shining into my conservatory and it's absolutely beautiful. Now sleeping. Did the sleeping make any difference in a camper van and a, or a caravan? No, not at all. I'm so comfortable in my camper van. I slept better in there than I did the caravan and I don't know why because the caravan bed was lovely and all I had to do was fall into it. I didn't have to really make it. Uh, when I got when you hook up and everything, um, the camper van one you have to make, but I use it as my seating area when I'm laid back watching TV. So no, sleeping is brilliant. And with all the blackout blinds, it's pitch black. It was it's oh I like the the dark. Watching TV, TV signals, exactly the same. No issues with the TV signals. Um, I've got a smart TV. Uh, and it's worked very well in both so I have no issues with that entertainment entertaining people now of course we know the camper van is smaller than a caravan now I can get comfortably in a two bed uh, camper van four people in the caravan it was a good six to eight because of course it was massive but what I find is with the camper van you entertain people outside you're sitting outside more so because you don't have that space you sit around open fires whereas I notice people with caravans don't really do open fires from my experience that is and I don't know it's just like a little family gathering with the, the camper van um, family so which is actually what I really like apart from the smell of the smoke from the uh, fire now the difference between camper van community and caravan community okay both communities are very friendly um, I did find with the um, caravan community they are friendly they will say morning to you and everything but they're very 
clicky, they have their own little groups. So if you turn up solo, they would help you, but you would have to ask um, for help if, the, if you're struggling and you know, you're struggling outside, you'd have to ask for help, which I did a couple of times because my arthritis in my fingers, I couldn't get, I couldn't get the gas off the big cylinder, gas adapter, oh, I can't remember, reg regulator. Okay, so I couldn't get that off. And I had to go and ask, and I was there for ages trying to get it off, because I'm determined to do stuff myself. But with the camper van lot, I'm a, and you all know I'm a solo traveller, the majority of the time. Oh my God, they're absolutely amazing. I I was really worried being a solo traveller and also worried about doing a camper van, being in such a small space. As soon as I turned up in my camper van on a campsite or um, do a CL, a lot of camper vanners all talk to each other anyway. You don't even know them. And they all, they're very interested in your van as well. Uh, but everybody's so friendly. If they saw, if they saw you struggling, they automatically come over and talk to you. Uh, if they notice that you're on your own, you know, they're, they're, they are so polite and so friendly. And if you don't want to be involved in their um, community or uh, be friendly with them and, be, and take part, you don't have to. You just go back to your van and have that space where if you want to be all, you know, just in a nice calm place. Jenny and Sheena, thank you very much for my birthday presents. I've got to show everybody these. They bought me a little sloth. You put it in the microwave to warm up, then you cuddle it. But this little sloth is going to go on my dashboard. Okay, thank you very much. I'm actually going to call it Rascal. That's the name of this. They also bought me, right, because I turned 60, you've got to have a 60 mug. So this is going into my camper van as well, but that's not the only thing. I thought that was the last thing, but look at this. Now look at this t-shirt, absolutely amazing. I've got my own t-shirt with my logo on. Love it. Love the colour as well, matches the silver fox. Thank you again. Let's get on with the video. So here we go. The difference also about having a caravan and a camper van. The caravan don't have much social media. A lot of people with caravans don't really put up what they're up to and doing on social media and YouTube. Camper van on, an, on, on the, um, camper van on the other hand has a brilliant social media and you see an awful lot on Facebook groups. I did try and draw some, join some caravan Facebook groups um, which is the Knots DA um, which they are you know they communicate very good so hats off to Knots DA um, but they there is more groups that I've noticed for the caravan. So you can join loads of different types of groups, get loads of information of where to go, how to sort something out, um, and just give you advice and updates. With YouTube, I could hardly find any. Guess what I was trying, what kept coming up? Camper vans. Camper vans kept coming up. So for a whole year, I was watching YouTubes on camper vans while I had a caravan, watching where they was going, picking up some tips on cooking techniques, what to put on barbecues, um, places where I can go with my dog, and after about a year of watching YouTube on, with camper vans, I got hooked. I got hooked. So I decided, after I worked out all the finance, whether I could afford a camper van. I sold my car and the caravan, and I had some money to it after, from the, the business I sold, and I bought my very first VW T6. And it's the best thing I've done. Now, 
people have their own opinions on whether fours and against us whether you will enjoy the caravan it's purely up to you at the end of the day what you want the reason why i've got it is one i travel on my own a lot with tia and my dog i want to go to places where my caravan wasn't able to go i love the community i like mixing with them I'm busy this year so far. I've only booked sites up till um, end of July because I've got a feeling my operation will be in August. And look at this. This, if you can see it, all that are my trips already booked this year. So there is 12 trips there is three festivals in that and there is two camp outs to see urban monkeys um, which I follow on YouTube lovely group please watch and subscribe they're absolutely lovely and the actual uh, three festivals I'm going to is um, there's two that's been dubbed out festival and then there's one in near Nottingham called Woodstocks and then also I'm going to a country western weekend and I'm going to a 40s weekend so I've got quite a variety of campsites that I'm going to what happens this year let's see if I go to more brilliant places um, I'll try and adventure as much as I can but I am restricted until after the op but I'm going to do my best and if there's anywhere you would like me to try or try and do or anything please put it in the comments or i would like to hear your comment on do you like caravans or camper vans better um so please put it in the comment or you've never tried it but you want to ask me a question did i always answer the um comments if i haven't answered your comments it's because i haven't seen it so I will apologise to anyone that I haven't seen their comments because I did go away for two weeks to the Caribbean which was in my last video. I don't normally ask this but can you please subscribe and if you like it put the thumbs up and ring the bell because each time someone subscribes it will actually get help me get my uh, video out to other people especially soul travellers, solo female travellers Let's all stick together. Let's all have a brilliant time. So just click the subscribe button, please. It is free. Please keep watching. The, as you see, I have got plenty booked for the future. My first one is this weekend, providing my van comes. First one this weekend, and I'm going to Rutland Waters, uh, Linden Top Campsite. So there's no uh, bathroom there or anything. So you, you have to uh, take your own facilities like toilets and everything but Rutland water is absolutely beautiful to walk around um, so anyway hope you all have a brilliant Easter and take care bye